What is up pilots, this is the King Hunter, another episode of Titanfall Assault And in this episode guys, I'm gonna show you my favorite car in the game I'm talking about the Shield Grunt Why this car is so good is because it's an epic defender. It's so difficult to bring these guys down. And it's extremely cheap. If you notice, only three supply. A small group of shielded troops, they are perfect for capturing and defending hard points. Natural enemy of the shield grunt is the arcfall because it's gonna do some extra damage against some shield units. There is not that many people using the arcfall. I would recommend you to upgrade the arcfall because Believe it or not, at one point of the game, you're gonna see a lot of people using the shield grunts because they're so good capturing and defending hard points. You ready to try the shield grunts? Let's go with this squad. Grunt Captain, the Steam Bruiser, Arc Boomer, Grunts, Missile, Reserve Strider, Atlas, Cor Scorch, Drones, and the shield grunts. Let's go to deploy as many shield grunts as possible. What we can do, we can start with the, let's see, what do we have? Oh, that's actually good. We can start with Grunt Captain, and also with the shield grunts. Let's wait for a little bit longer. Let's make sure that grunt captain is in position. Excellent. So now we can get alpha and we're gonna have five. We're gonna have five shield units protecting that area. It's gonna be necessary to get the drones because the pyro is such a monster. We got the drones, we should be okay to control these fellas. Excellent. Captain Grunt is helping me. I got my grunt. Let's see, can we get the the drones, got the drones, please take care of the units. Excellent. I need a missile right there. Missile right there in the middle. Boom! Goodbye. So now we can start taking Bravo back. The drones are going down. The pyro. Excellent. Pyro's down. Bravo, it's ours. Now let's try to hold the ground for a little bit. Let's not get too crazy about deploying more pilots. Just take control. Alpha and Bravo should be more than enough. I'm gonna press some more. It drums in the middle between Alpha and Bravo. I don't care about Charlie. You can keep Charlie, my friend. You can deploy as many units as you want over there. What we can do, we can start deploying the Reserve Strider in Bravo. Because I, I know I know at one point something bad's gonna happen. We just deploy the grunts right there in the back too. To keep protecting Alpha. Remember, that's the whole key of this game. Just control two hard points. The, the, I, I see some people making the mistake of running from one corner to another all the time similar when you play for example domination in call of duty that that is not a strategy man the idea is to control one or two points and that's all you need that's all you need to win the battle so we're gonna deploy more shield grunts in the middle to provide some extra support oh the smoke strike is gonna kill me the smoke strike is gonna kill me he's destroying all my shield units what we can do is that one perfect and then we can deploy the core scorch in front of my atlas and things are not looking good for you my friend i put some drones also because you won't be able to attack my drones the core scorch remembers a melee titan so with this we should be in good shape we're gonna put another shield grunt over here let's keep spamming that amazing amazing unit but also another strident in the middle perfect and I think this battle is completely under control. 78 against 45. There's nothing that you can do, my friend. I don't need to deploy my pilots. I already have Alpha and Bravo under control. So all the supplies that I'm getting are to spam some shield grunts and also drone sound. Here we go. Victory, it's ours. That was super, super fast, super, super easy. Remember, fellas, uh, the strategy in this game is to control hard points to get supplies. But also, remember, you don't need to control the whole map all the time. You can just control two areas, and that's all you need. And if you have the shield grunt, it's so, so, so useful. It's so easy to defend those hard points. Plus, in combination with the drones, ay ay ay, that's gonna hurt. We're gonna start the same way with Grand Captain. Went into Bravo. And if we had the shield... Oh, we don't have the shields yet. Mm, that's not good. Gonna put the Steam Bruiser. Grand Captain's gonna be in the middle. Uh, we're gonna provide support with some grunts in this corner. Let's see if the Bruiser is gonna join me. 
If we can take care of that, I can put my drones. And with the drones, we should be able to take care of the pyro. Excellent. This is looking good. We got the Bruiser in the back. Come on, I need my drums. I need my drums to take care of the pyro. Pyro now, no, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bring it down. Excellent, excellent. So now we got Bravo. And we can start spamming some shield grunts. We got the drums, shield grunts. And the, look at the drums. The drums are so crazy. The drums are going to start moving no matter what in any, any, any position. Put some grunts in the middle. We're going to try to control Alpha and Bravo only. Put more drums probably in Bravo. And let's put in Alpha. Just in case... My opponent is oh those sentry guns. How they call? I still need I need that troop. I need that building. It's so so annoying. But I think we I think we're in good shape. We put some more shield grunts. Make sure that you don't deploy the units in the same place. Don't put the grunts and the shield grunts together. Because if you do that, you're gonna be in trouble, guys. That is uh, only with one arc fall. Or maybe with one of the missiles. You can take care of every single offensive unit in one go. Okay, so what we're going to do... Now we got the Atlas in the back. We're going to put probably the Strider to help my shield units. Excellent. And now my drums are going to take care of the rest. Trying to take it easy. Don't deploy the units right away, fellas. Just be be careful. Be, be tactical. For example, right now we're going to deploy the Arc Boomer just because we have a level 9 Atlas. What? That is just ridiculous. Look at the level, that guy. <laughs> that is just silly. Okay, now we're going to put the Core Scorch over there to take care of the Pyro and also the drums. Remember, the drums are so good. So good defending hard point. And we can deploy some hard shield guys. Shield grunts right there also. Excellent. Some extra damage. We got to deploy some more grunts right here in the middle. Look at that level 8, man. Wow. Dude, this guy has everything, man. Look at that. Alpha and Bravo completely under control. The most important part is to control the middle. Because that way you can control the traffic around the map. Put some shield guides in the front. And this battle, it's over, man. There's no way my opponent's going to come back. Guys, shield grunts plus drums equal GG. Fellas, <laughs> this is the Game Hunter. Another episode, Titanfall Assault. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Share my videos and let me know in the commentary section below which one is your favorite pilot and also which one is your favorite titan. I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Oh.